Shall I do an intro? Shall I do an intro? Yeah. Okay. Ready? Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Spooky Park Bench. My name is uh, Mike Sim. I'm a photographer from the United Kingdom, but over the Atlantic Ocean is not just my best friend in the whole wide world, Christopher Storm. I'm f- I'm fucking here too. <laughs> <laughs> Millie Walker, bitches. What's your name? Oh, Mike. Mike Sim. Did you say that already? Yeah. Oh, you did. Yeah. That's I'm your sorry. Camera. You um, look there. That's your camera. I'm American Mike. <laughs> And I'm Christopher Sturm. He's I'm Mike's best friend. Sturm. Mike's here in the U.S. of A. Yeah. With us, some as you can see on YouTube, we have some cameras set up. Uh, he's here. Yeah. I'm uh, being like being extra American. I'm being so American. I went and got a big buck off big gulp, extra large. You can get a bigger one, and this is Fanta, but it's so orange. Is there a bigger size of that? There's that's the that's extra large. So that's mm-hmm. the biggest one I think that they make. And it's a bargain. I think at some places you can get a, like a way bigger one. This was like two dollars. Yeah. So diabetes has never been so affordable. Yeah. No. <laughs> Basically, what I'm trying to do is be like be as American as possible. Which I think you've achieved. You've done a really good job of of like really assimilating into the culture. Yeah. You've had as far three large breakfasts. Yep. Diner yep. breakfasts. Yep. I had a skillet breakfast this morning. Right. Having had pancakes, bacon, and eggs the previous two mornings. Mm-hmm. Oh wait, I had pancakes, bacon, and eggs, sausage, and potatoes. And yesterday. potatoes, yeah. So you've been you've been really taken with the American diner breakfast. Oh, like I've had a like, <laughs> I've got a romantic idea of America, and I'm here with Becca, my partner, and like partner girlfriend. She was the lovely person that bought the tickets to come out here from it was her idea it was actually a uh, yeah. it was a surprise she told me before she told you yeah i thought she was gonna surprise me oh speak of the devil i think she just is just walking back in she went for a walk around melee walk a and i think she's just coming back which is good she hasn't been shot she hasn't been <laughs> she hasn't been shanked or shot um becca is that you welcome back we're we just started because i had to set everything up so we're just hang. we're just here we're just talking about you it's just talking about you yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just saying you're the lovely person that bought the tickets to come out here. Right. And um, so, yeah, so Mike thought in order to do this podcast, we're doing our first in-person podcast. This is the first time we've met in person. Yeah. yeah. In our three years of knowing each other. A little yeah. over three years. Yeah. But we've been like, it's very strange when you meet someone who you've spoken to on video and everything like so many times mm-hmm. and like spoken to just, you know, outside of podcasting and stuff. We mm-hmm. speak anyway. Yeah. So when you actually meet them it's not like you're meeting them because it's not you've met them you've met them i mean to the point where christopher was comfortable enough to get in the bed with beck and i and spoon me this morning i had to they had woken up i really enjoyed it my girlfriend jackie had gone to work and then mike yelled from the living room christopher i need coffee and so what did i say i can't remember i think i said fuck off and then i made you coffee and as the coffee was brewing, I spooned you. Yeah. Um, where are we? Oh, yeah. So American, me romanticizing. This is Christopher's dog. This is Klaus. Klaus, can you... Uh, Klaus looks like a... He can sit there. Yeah, he looks like something that would you'd clean yourself with in the show. Klaus is just <laughs> sniffing my penis. So, yeah, I've basically been Perfect. like... I've Paid been, actor. I've been trying to be doing like as American stuff as as possible. Mm-hmm. Did I, yeah, so I've got this romantic idea of America. Um and I'm I'm trying to live it to the fullest. Has it lived up to expectations so far? <laughs> Look, I go past a fire hydrant and I get really uh, fucking excited. Yeah. Like I see a fire hydrant and I'm like, yeah, yeah. Fire school buses, school amazing. Bus, they've been pointing out every school bus they've seen. Hardware store, hardware store. Went into a hardware Although, store. <laughs> oh, I went into a hardware store and what I was really wanting to see was a guy in like a plaid shirt and talked to me about nails, but instead it was a um a young. A young non-binary man, right? Um, who, non-binary person. Don't be, fuck non-binary person. It's okay. It's fine. Yeah, no, I know that was bad though. No, it's okay. Um, so yeah, but that was that was cool. They um, were great. They, they had super some great. good questions for you, and they were wondering, yep, you know about snow in the UK stuff like that. Um, what else have we done? Uh, so we've done quite a bit. I was in Chicago for a few days. 
Yeah, so I went and drove down to meet them in Chicago, and we went to Eleven City Diner. Shout out Rose. Eleven City Denny, Deli. Shout out Rose. Yeah, we had a, an incredible breakfast there, and then we went to Trader Joe's because Becca would have wanted to go to Trader Joe's, which was always it was magical as always. Yeah. Uh, then we went to oh, we went to that shop. Um, yeah, we went to Mild Blend Supply Co. Mild Blend Supply Co. That was clothing, great. Clothing shop, which Mike, is... You did a uh, portrait of one of the... Of Chad. Chad Dennis. Is that his name? Chad Dennis? Chad R. Dennis. What's his name? I forget his name. Chad R. Davies. Davies. Davis. It doesn't really matter. I don't know. He was really handsome. Chad. And I wanted to take his picture, and then I wanted to get out there before my girlfriend fell in love with him. Yeah. He was He was handsome. Uh, great guy, cool to talk to. We had talked some shop. That was fun. Oh yeah, but before that, we were sitting having a coffee, and some guy in Chicago oh. recognized Chris and came over <laughs> and was like, "Oh, are you Chris from the photo department?" And I was convinced that he was a plant because I thought, "No fucking way does anyone watch his YouTube channel." It doesn't happen all that often. That was like the maybe third or fourth time, maybe fifth time that's happened since I started my YouTube channel that someone has been like, "Oh, you're the guy from this YouTube channel." In public somewhere. It never happens. Yeah. And then we walked into the clothing shop. Right. And immediately somebody else went, oh, you're Chris Storm. Oh, I follow man. you on Instagram and I watch your YouTube videos. It was within 15 minutes of both incidents happening. Yeah. Yeah. I paid them later on Venmo. Yeah. That was cool. It was weird. But it was cool. They were very nice. Both of them were very nice. So shout out to uh, both of you guys. And then we drove from Chicago. Well, Chris drove from Chicago to Milwaukee. We listened to Will Smith. <laughs> um, there'll be a companion video to this podcast that'll come out on the youtube channel that you can see all the shenanigans we've been up to yep listen to will smith mm -hmm. um i yeah what else we done we had some good coffee oh we went to a coffee place today that was great yeah i went to discourse which is a milwaukee coffee place it's very very experimental with their offerings we had some really interesting coffees that were delicious I wouldn't even call them. I mean, they were coffee drinks, but they were like something else. They were like coffee cocktails with no alcohol in them. They were just very like, yeah, very, uh, very, very, just very. Yeah. It was an experience. Um, what else did we do today? I went to a meeting of like-minded people um, who mm -hmm. used to enjoy drinking. Um, that was good. Uh, um, we went to Target. We went to to, 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 to Target. Which you haven't been to before. Then with Target, we played catch in the aisles of Target. We did. We played. <laughs> we got a couple of gloves and we threw a baseball around. We have video evidence of that as well. Yeah. Yeah. My dad's dead. So it was nice to play catch with someone else. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what else? What else have you done here that you haven't done before? Um, you got the big gulp. That's your first big got gulp. Got the big gulp, yeah. What else have I done here? How many done ounces before? is this? I don't know. So we don't do ounces in the UK. Well, I, we do them here. I want to know what this... It, don't, it, what is it, it doesn't even say. Because it, it's shameful, I think. I think they won't tell you because then that you'll be like, oh my God, I'm going to die. I, do I look like an American, though? Do I look like I live in the Midwest right now? You look like you're... A, you kind of look like you're cosplaying as a lumberjack right now. That's fine. So, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. So, that uh, we've taken some pictures. Oh, yeah. So, you brought one camera. I brought one camera and one, <laughs> one roll of film. What camera no, did you bring? I brought two rolls of film, thankfully, because I fucked the first one. I um, <laughs> No, I didn't have... Yeah, no, I, I, I broke yeah. it. Um, I finished the roll and then I wound it on. <laughs> Like he ripped the film out I of the, the canister. Ripped the film out of the canister, so ruined that one. Um, and Which, then I've got some rookie move. And then I bought some T Max four hundred um, because film's so much fucking cheaper here. It's the I think it's yeah I don't know how much cheaper is it? How much is a roll of T Max in the UK? Mm, I'm not sure for a roll of that, but like it's not. It's the one twenties cheaper. So they right. were doing. Uh, this camera, uh, uh, what's the one called in Chicago? Central camera. Central camera. So in there, the, you could buy uh, five rolls of Portra, one of 120 Portra for like $50, $55. For one roll? No, for five rolls. Oh, I was going to say, holy shit, the price has really gone up. No, 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 which is insanely cheap. Yeah, uh... Interesting for yeah, for one like, twenty. Oh, I must the prices must have come down a little bit then. That's good. Mm. But yeah, um, 
So you had a roll T Max. You had a couple rolls of T Max. One yeah. roll T Max. One roll T Max, which I'm kind of working my way through right in now. In your Olympus OM one. In my OM, my trusty OM one. I gave you some film. I gave you some of this. This is the um, Atlanta Film Co. AFC. This is the. Uh, uh, it's one twenty five, I think. Motion picture film. I got you that, and I gave you some Fuji two hundred, and then I'm shooting. My, I've been shooting my F two. You're supposed to be shooting. You're supposed to shoot a roll on the C three thirty, but we forgot. We've been I doing could, a lot. I could pop some stuff off tomorrow. Yeah. Um, oh, we went to Dayglow Coffee yesterday. I forgot. Went to Dayglow Coffee because they've got some new ground coffee in right now, which is interesting. It's quite weird going to Chicago and they've got your your coffee in there. And then you brought me some new ground coffee. You also brought me a lot of stuff. So they brought me a bunch of snacks from England, which I'm chuffed to bits, as they say. Uh, I have them here. I'll show you. Oh, couch moved. Here's one of the first things. Monster Munch. By Walkers. I think this is a Lay's brand, right? Becca, yeah, Walkers and Lay's are like the same thing. Yeah. Um, pickled onion. That's got to be good. There's no way that's not amazing. That's got to be delicious. It's it's awesome. So I'm really excited for that. <laughs> I'm excited for these two. Percy Pig. Um, they're like gummies. And they're, I guess, fa- they're famous. Very famous. Well known. Marks and Spencer's is it's, it's Marks huge. And Spencer's. M&S. M&S. Percy yeah. Pig, soft fruit flavor gums made with fruit juice. Yeah, real fruit juice, real pig juice. No, Klaus, you cannot eat this. This is candy. One of the things I'm really excited, like most excited about, believe it or not, crumpet, actual crumpets from yeah. England. I've never had these before. Uh, they look at first glance like English muffins, but I've been told that they are not like English muffins. They're different. So I'm excited to try these. Um, I love a good toasted toasted bread product. You want the thing with those is you want to slather them, smear them in butter because it just falls into the wee holes, the nooks and crannies. So that, I'm excited about that. Um, good chocolate, Cadbury Dairy Milk. Here's the thing, right? It's not good chocolate, right? It's, it's not. Like, well, no. So like, I people, mean, compared people, to people talk about like pasta. good chocolate being like, oh, this really high cocoa and whatever. Like, fuck that, man. Give me some dairy milk. It's the best. So, yeah, I guess what I'm saying is delicious chocolate. Yeah, delicious chocolate. Yeah. It's not good, like, quality chocolate, but no one gives a shit about that. The other thing I'm really excited about is Heinz beans in rich tomato sauce. They don't have this in the States because no one here eats this. But uh, I have always wanted to try uh, beans on toast. What do you guys call it? Beans on toast. Beans on <laughs> toast. Because beans on toast. Because it's beans on toast. It's literally beans on toast. Uh, people always dunk on England for having beans on toast, but um, I mean, come on, this can't be well, bad. Do you know, like I would like, it's like American food. Like I would have been like, you put bacon and pancakes and maple syrup together, you mentalists, and it's fucking excellent. It's amazing actually, because it's actually, it's salty sweet. Yeah, but you you put like maple syrup. Like yesterday, I was eating potatoes with sausage, bacon, and pancakes and maple syrup, and it was amazing. Yeah, America. Yeah, Merca. Yeah. And then uh, these these were a sleeper hit because these apparently are made with Marmite, uh, which are a very kind of it's bitter, yeast, earthy, yeast yeasty extract. extract thing. So yeast extract spread twiglets, and they're they're kind of addictive. They have this like very savory thing going on that like is very nice. It's very interesting. This is such an educational podcast. I know we're doing a great job. And then last but not least, well, second to last is these, I've already eaten one, the, um, tonics caramel wafer, the caramel wafer biscuits. Uh, I'd never even seen these before, but I was told that these are delicious and they fucking are. And they're Scottish. They're Scottish and they're super, super good. I had one of these. I'm saving the rest for Jackie because I'm sure she'll appreciate these. And then the last thing, or I guess second to last actually, because there's something else. Uh, the uh, shortbread fingers by Walkers. These are Scottish shortbread. Shortbread fingers. That's what it says. I know it says that, but like, yeah. It's just shortbread. My grandmother was a shortbread connoisseur. Biscuits. So... It's shortbread, and I love shortbread, but you can get this here. I know you love shortbread. I watched you eat about... I ate almost an entire box of shortbread over there. Yeah. But Wait, what's this the is... other thing? You said there was another thing. Uh, the tea. They brought me oh, proper British yeah, yeah, English tea. breakfast tea, which I'm really happy about. I really like English breakfast tea, and I don't know if the ones you can get here are any good. So I got some. I had some this morning, 10 out of 10, with just a little bit of milk. Becca said 
She doesn't typically drink it with porridge milk, which is what she calls oat milk. <laughs> but I forced her to at gunpoint because this is America. And you didn't hate it, right? I didn't hate it. I love it. Yeah, she's so so on it. She's neutral on it. She's a traitor to her country, apparently. I'm a traitor to my country because I want to move to this country. Yeah. So Mike and I are going to move in together with Becca and Jackie. We're all going to have a family. Oh, and our kids. And I need to bring, I need to bring oh, Becca kids. and Mike have children. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, moving to Chicago. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna have big gulps in yeah. breakfast. Uh, well, that's great. So yeah, so you know, Mike's been here. We've been doing all sorts of stuff. We've been having a great time. The the animals are just hanging out here, and oatmeal. They're just being menaces as usual. Oh well, fight, fight. Oatmeal. Okay. Fucking yes. Klaus, can you go sit down over there, buddy? Thanks, buddy. Love you. Good boy. Thanks, bud. Come and sit. Oh, next I was to gonna me. sit next to Mike. <laughs> Come and sit next to me. Do you think this microphone's one of your siblings? <laughs> Do you? It's not a sibling, it's a microphone. You're going to sit down? Don't talk to my dog like that. You're going to sit down with your little super noodle head? Don't talk to my dog like that. He looks like he's made of dried super noodles. He looks like a lamb, sort of. Sit down. Sit your ass down, fool. In his own time. Oh. In your own time, you're the most no, devious bastard you're the in most New York City. Devious bastard <laughs> of New York City. If you, dear listener, are not familiar with Matt Berry... Please just look up some, any of his work. Toast of Toast of London, uh, What We Do in the Shadows, yeah. um, Snuffbox or some older stuff. He's been in uh, the IT. He was in Garth Marenghi as well. The IT crowd. Um, yeah, very funny man. He's uh, hilarious. I'm trying to think what else I've been doing. Like, Just been hanging out. Been hanging out. Did a lot of driving yesterday. We've listened to a, we lot a, lot of, of, a lot of music we used to listen to. We've been doing a lot of nostalgic listening. Incubus, Deftones. Yeah. Um, Madonna, Postal Service, Enya, Enya, yeah. I Christopher put on Enya so I could do a poo. Yeah, Mike has had nervous, nervous butthole, and I've been trying to get him comfortable so he can do a poo. Well, the problem is that like this country is really weird with your um, it's not your cubicles. You're weird. No, but the cubicles are like they're they're like voyeuristic cubicles. Yeah, but no one is actually going into a bathroom and looking through the slats to see you poo. They don't want to see you poo. Fucking are. Mm. What world, what naive little world do you live in where people aren't watching you, trying to watch you do a poo? I've never seen anyone looking at me while I poo. It's because they're very good at it. <laughs> so if you don't notice them, like, does it if matter? You're a, if you're a nervous pooer like I am, like I'm the kind of guy I'm that will nervous... not, I won't, I won't poo really outside of my own house. See, I thought the problem was I told you I had a bidet and you, I thought you guys were like a, against the bidet, which is why oh. you wouldn't poo, but you I like just the, nervous Do you know why pooer. I like about that bidet is hmm. that I, I watched it work as well and it's cool. It's like a little person comes out. What do you mean like, you watched it work? You opened it while it was, you were off the thing and it's... I, I can't wait to see how it worked. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. And it's like... <laughs> Okay. It's like a little sort of upside down soldier like slides out the thing and then pew shoots you in the bum hole. Yeah, it's great. But once once you go bidet, you don't go back. It's that's very clean. That's what they say. But like, mm. yeah, the, your your toilets are weird, but your bathrooms are weird. Also, your urinals have flushers on them, which you don't have in the UK. Yeah, I think you can't flush our urinals. That's gross. That's why our urinals all smell. Yeah, our urinals are a le less smelly. Well, they're still pretty smelly because people are disrespectful to our own restrooms, but they're not as smelly. So yeah, basically I've had this is actually like quite healthy for me because like the idea of talking about pooping is like it's always something that's freaked me out. Whereas now I'm just Jackie and I we started talking about poo and I just it's just been opened up. My my world's been opened up. I'm so comfortable talking not about just it your, now. not just your world, your bum hole. And my bum hole's been opened up, yes. Um, but I will say I mostly want to poop at my own house because I have a bidet and it's much cleaner and much nicer to have a poo with a bidet. Well, without. for anyone that doesn't know, like your cubicle toilets here, like the do the, the the sides of the toilet don't go all the way to the ground. They stop about two foot beforehand. Yeah, but are you worried that someone's going to look at your ankles? Yes, because then they'll know who I, they'll know that then like they'll know if who's go, doing a poo. Exactly. You want to be secretive about your pooing. Yeah, I don't want to like go back in the restaurant and they'll be like, I recognize those boots. That's the guy that was blasting ass. That was yeah, he was bubble gutting all over the toilet. Yeah, I guess the thing there that I would say is that you just have to just lean into it and just accept that that's what you're doing and it's okay i was once having a poo in a toilet and um <laughs> uh -huh. and uh and i am um, <laughs> this is funny uh it was in a cafe yeah and um as i uh, there was no toilet roll uh or i couldn't see any toilet roll so i stood up after i'd done my poo and i turned around to try and find some toilet roll and as i did that 
my phone fell out of my back pocket on at the floor. So I bent down to pick up my phone, right? Yeah. I've got no trousers. Like, my trousers are at my ankles. I'm bending down. I have not wiped my bum hole. And I hadn't locked the door. <laughs> and somebody, no. somebody opened the door and was just confronted with my compost heap bum hole. And then I, they closed the door immediately. I actually burst out laughing because I was like, this is really funny. This seems preventable. Oh, all of this. Massively preventable. Yeah. But I've it, never been in a public stall and not no, but, locked the door. But the th right. So that, that was my bad, right? But then since then, I always like triple check. But I then had to walk back in this cafe knowing that somebody in there. <laughs> you didn't see who it was? No. Knowing that somebody in there had seen my. Had an intimate peer into your third eye. Yeah. 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 This podcast has taken a turn, I will yeah, say, I mean, into like, the poo territory. We, we, we did say that like, it's not really going to be about photography today. I mean, I did want to touch on a little bit of photography. Just, uh, I guess, I haven't been putting out a lot of videos lately, mostly because I've been really busy, but also because I've been in a, I've been in a real big creative rut lately. But I, I found something that helped me kind of like stir up my creativity uh, lately, which is big gulps. No, not big gulps. Though nothing about this is appetizing to me. I will say I'm proud of myself that that's not appetizing to me. Funyuns. I do like funyuns. Where'd those go? They're up there. I would keep eating them, but they're too crunchy for the microphone. Yeah, they're too crunchy, and it's just rude to eat funyuns on on camera. I think. But I will say this. Uh, I found. You know what I always do? I always think like, oh, I gotta travel. I gotta go somewhere interesting to to make photographs. But then I started just doing walks around my neighborhood and then taking the uh, the light rail. It's called the hop. It's like a free train that we have here. Yeah. Just taking that around and like photographing what I see. And that's been really nice. I, you know, walking around Chicago on here. Making my way downtown. And they say that a hero. That's not the same song. Us. No, no. it's way better. We're not. <laughs> um, God. <sighs> I was I was trying to decide whether or not it's because um it's somewhere new for me mm. or because it is just more interesting to photograph. Chicago? Well, yeah. And like I feel like there's loads of this here that it lends itself to to street style like photography or what's it called again? Topo to topography. New topography. New topography. There's lots like America lends I... America lends yeah. itself to that. Yeah. The UK doesn't. Well, I mean London maybe, but like generally like I if, think you if... have to you know like Kyle McDougall travels a lot in yeah. UK because I think he's chasing that kind of thing but, ha but understands he has to travel. But yeah, he's but used to that. He's also shooting like like landscapey type stuff. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. it's not like it is here where like you can there's loads of great photos to be had everywhere. I'm, well, I'm starting to realize too that like one of the things I used to do is like just go out to shoot which with like no subject or like idea ahead of time. But now what I'm doing is I'm like okay, if I want to tell a story, what kind of story am I trying to tell here? And so I'm trying to have this through line like, even yeah. if I just go out for the day and around the neighborhood, I'm just like, okay, try to find some theme or like through line so that I can tell a little bit of a story with what I'm seeing because otherwise I'm just taking snapshots and that's kind of boring. It depends. Like, do you know, I was thinking to myself, like, I could have brought a digital camera with me, but I really wanted to have. I want something have... to fuck up. Yeah, but I wanted to have something tangible at the end of this. Like, I actually want to print some of these photos out and have them, like, physically yeah. have them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, because it's, it's something that I don't do and it's something that actually weirdly I really I want to have I think as I'm getting older and as I've got kids and as I'm like seeing that like I, I hate the idea of having all these memories on my phone I hate it because yeah like, that's a problem I want to, I want to have it like it used to be when I was younger you know you had photo books and you had like these you would go into this box and you would pull out all these photos and look to them it was great and I want that for when I'm older for like, like even my kids want to be like, you know, what was it? You know, what did you get up to when you were a, a young, sprightly 38 year old? What did you do in America? I'll be like, I fucking threw a baseball around in Target and made loads of friends wherever I went because I'm so likable. That's true. You, everywhere we've gone, you guys have just been attracting people. We were, me, Beck and I were at the beach and some random guy stopped us. He had a Nikon DSLR and he was like, hey, can I take your picture? Because da 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 da. And he was just chatting with us. Super nice guy out of nowhere. And was just like chatting with us on the Took beach. Took your picture. Yeah. 
So for why have you managed class. to turn around from you being about things about me and Becca being really nice to then making it about you? Well, because Becca was there. You fucking arrogant. <laughs> what? Oh, so I'm talking to this guy and I look behind him and Becca's on her hands and knees with her ass up in the air taking like video of like the surf coming in with like the, the fall leaves. And I, I didn't acknowledge it on purpose because I didn't know if this guy was going to be weird about it if he turned around and noticed it. So I just noticed it, kept it inside and then laughed about it with Becca later. But Aww. it was funny because it was full. You were like full photographer stance, not a care in the world, just trying to get your subject like really focused ass straight up in the air. It was great. It was really great. Um, was it great? Was it? Were you looking at my girlfriend's ass? <laughs> briefly. Very, very briefly. That's just to fine. see what was happening. And I was like, noted. And then moved That's, on. Hey, it's okay. Yeah. We're friends. We are friends. That's fine. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, fine. But we, we, where were we out? We, we went to... Uh, well, you made friends with Roz at the, at the diner. You made friends oh. with the guy at... The... So the, the, like so we we went into the diner on uh, the on Saturday morning. I've never had this kind of treatment before in my life. And it was like so busy, and then we befriended Roz, who was the mother of the owner, and then we chatted to her for a while, and then we came in on Sunday with Chris. And Sunday brunch is like a big thing in the states. People go out on Sunday with their family to get brunch or breakfast or whatever. It was like ten thirty. Yeah, so there was like a half an hour wait for a table, and then yeah. Roz saw Becca and was like. Becca comes out, sees them both, is like, hey guys, and then they're chatting. Becca chats with them for a second, and Roz is like, I got a table. Brings us over in the front in a booth. Great yeah. table. We could see the counter. We had a great view of everything. It was like a fantastic table. Jumped the queue. We jumped the queue. We got in front of all those losers, got a great table, had a fantastic breakfast. And just because these two ding dongs were in there the day before making friends. Uh, then we went to the clothing shop that you made friends with that guy and took his portrait. Yeah. Um, where else did we go? We went to a couple other places and you guys were getting the, the VIP treatment. Where was it? It was, uh, I don't know. I just <sighs> like talking to people, but I'm like yeah. that in the UK. Hmm. Oh yeah. We went to, when we went to discourse, everyone was like loving hanging out with you guys. I think like I've got no, I like talking to people. Yeah. And like, it's, I don't know, it's, it's it's that sort of thing, isn't it? Like, I, to me, like, going places, visiting places is about doing the sort of everyday stuff and interacting with the people that live there. Yeah. Otherwise, like. What's the point? What's the point? Like. I you, like you, that. What you're doing is you're just taking yourself and transporting yourself to another, like, you've got to immerse yourself in it. I have that problem, like, where I kind of go places and I want to, like. Oh, I'm gonna take photos and like document something, but then like I don't talk to anybody or or learn anything about the place. There's no real documentation. You just it's just like me seeing things and then taking a picture of them in a place. It's there's no connection to the place. Yeah, but I think also like I I have an idea in my head that like <laughs> it's totally and utterly unjustified that when I speak to people, they actually are interested in speaking to me. Which is, the what, accent. which is why I'm quite content to just start a conversation with somebody. Mm -hmm. I'm too fucking ignorant and arrogant to realize that they might be going, I wish this guy would fuck off. I'm not interested in what he has well, to say. Well, when you first DM'd me many years ago, that's kind of my response in the first place. I was like, who the fuck is this guy, random guy messaging me, trying to get me on his podcast? Because he had me on your podcast first. Yeah. And then you're like, hey, you're going to be my best friend and we're going to make a podcast. And I was like, all right, guess what? Now I'm now I'm in your house. Now you're, you're making, in my house. Now you're making me coffee like a little bitch. <laughs> yeah, now I'm making you coffee in the morning. Well, who's the bitch? You brought me a bunch of food from England. You had a practically a full half of a suitcase was just food for me. I'll tell you who's not the bitch in this whole situation. Becca. No, because Becca paid for the tickets. You've let me into your house, and I'm just here with my big gulp, living the dream. God, that's true. You know who's the secret behind the scenes? You know, if because if Jackie didn't let this happen, this would never have happened. I had to be like, Jackie, is it cool if my bestest friend in the whole world and his girlfriend come and stay at our house for a couple of days in November? And she was like, you know what? Yes. Like a, like the benevolent God that she is. Benevolent? I don't know what benevolent means. Kind, giving, not murderous. Oh. Malevolent would be so vengeful God. Malevolent's bad. Yeah, mal. Mal. Like muy malo. 
means very bad in Spanish. Ah, like mala, like bad duck. Benevolent. Ben stands for Benjamin, which is a good friend of yours, and he is, stands for good. Benevolent. <laughs> Is this making it in the podcast? It is. We're not cutting any of this. We're not cutting any of it. Look how comfortable our, my pets are. Klaus is over there, passed the fuck out. Oatmeal's over here facing a suitcase, just sitting. Yeah, waiting for something to happen. Waiting for something to happen. He's really good at staring into space. But whatever. Anyway. Um, what else? Uh, saw some guys on fentanyl. Did we? No, you did You did. We did. We saw a guy. He was really on the fentanyl. I'm assuming it was fentanyl. I was gonna, ask, <laughs> I was gonna ask. Oh, I think that camera stopped recording. Hold on. What? Uh, what I was gonna ask you is, so far, what has been your favorite coffee that you've had here? Um. Oh, today's hands down. It's one of the best coffees I've ever had in my life. The coffee you had this morning that I made you? No, it was actually really nice. Um. But yeah, that's, no, because that, that's the answer. No, it fucking discourse. That coffee was wild. So what I will say about discourse, the coffee was good, but it wasn't to me a a coffee experience as much it was like a mixology experience which is not bad but no, like cool. when i like when we went to um well not i feel like i want to taste coffee yeah and we had a bunch of mixed drinks which no, is no, fine no, i'm talking about the the sous vide one. Oh yeah that was wild becca did you like the sous vide coffee it was wild. So I knew about it from before because Rich had told me about it before. But basically what they do is they take coffee, they grind it really coarse, they vacuum seal it, and then they sous vide it for like 14 hours at 140 yeah. degrees. And it brings out like tannins and like wine style it was incredible. flavor profile. It's very rich. And it tasted like it might have had milk in it, but it was just black. It was froth. It was because they steamed it. Yeah, they steamed it. So I'm it was like, incredible. I'm kind of like... like as you know, I, I work in coffee and like, I don't particularly like talk, like I, it's not, I don't like talk, I'll talk about coffee while I'm working, but like, I'm not, I'm not like a coffee nerd. You're not like talking about varietals and origins all the time. No, I won't. Right. I'll talk about when I have to. Yeah. And I'm kind of like, you know, like going to a coffee shop, it's a bit of a busman's holiday type thing. Do you have that phrase here? Busman's holiday? Yeah. No, what does it mean? Uh, it's like, it's like a, Bus driver going on holiday on a bus. Like, he spends all time driving a bus. So, like, going on holiday, but doing the thing that you always do. Yeah. 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 I, we don't have that phrase, but that that concept is a thing. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. So, but I, that was, to me, was, like, a really exciting thing. I was like, this is actually really cool. It's made yeah. coffee really different. Mm. And you're right. Like, the mixology stuff, I'm like, uh, you know, that's an interesting taste. But it's, like, it's not coffee. The sous vide coffee, I think that was very... A very fun, very interesting coffee that's the, That's like thing. the coolest thing I've yeah. seen in coffee in a long time. I um, was very, very impressed. Yeah. And then uh, I don't remember what the espresso was they were using. They had something on espresso for at, at Dayglow. The coffee was really nice at Dayglow. But I had a, I had an iced oat milk latte, which isn't something you, you normally get if you're looking to like, oh, I want to taste the coffee notes. But it was like fruity. It was, yeah, it was really good. delicious. And I don't think he said it was a, uh, uh, I don't think he said it was natural process. I think it was a wash coffee, but it was really good. And then actually so far I've also enjoyed diner coffee. Yeah. You know, I just, I just, and the thing is that like I, my diner coffee, I've had black, mm. whereas you, you big coffee snob, mm -hmm. Chris this morning, this diner coffee arrived, the mug comes slapping down on the table and he put about four sugars in it and some yeah. milk. Yeah. Because the joy of diner coffee for me having grown up with the specific kind of coffee that you get at a diner here, typically it's like Folgers or some other kind of like shit coffee yeah, yeah, yeah. dumped into a carafe. No, no ratios just kind of like dumped in and like it just sh shits out into a carafe and then you drink the diarrhea and it's like, it's very bitter. It's very dark and you have to cut the bitterness with sugar and you have to cut it with, with milk or else it's just like wholly unpalatable. And so like, some diner coffee now is okay where you can drink it black, but like at, at Ma Fisher's, which is a diner I took them to this morning, which you thoroughly enjoyed. You loved it. I was, I would put that down in a genuinely one of the best experiences of my life. <laughs> and it was way cheaper than our dinner before oh, the night like, before. What did we have the night before? 
or not the night before the breakfast we had. Oh, the man. breakfast we had. The breakfast. We, I mean, we're like, it was like a hundred dollars in Chicago at this diner that we went to. That you guys yeah, went and to. it was like it wasn't like an old American diner. Like it was a. It, it was good. It but was good. It was like a. But yeah, it was like a. It was sort of. No, I was gonna say no. Like it was great, but it was kind of like a like a hard rock cafe of diners. Yeah, you know I mean? it's it's it was a little bit touristy, which is okay. But but Ma Fisher's is like a diner for diner lovers. Like it's a diner's diner. Yeah, like I saw at least four people in there today that could that might be dead now. Yeah, or who might have had to go back to the mines after eating. Yeah, yeah, and it yeah, was yeah. and and the thing is like. The local people work there. It's like a local kid who served us. There was like great mullet and a mustache. Great mullet, great mustache. Um, you know, the guy brought us our coffees and slammed our mugs down on the table. You know, that was great. Uh, everything was it was cooked really quickly. The portions were good. Everything was delicious. Um, the only thing I was upset about is that no cops came in like on their break. Um. Yeah, I don't think there's a lot of cops. I don't see. I don't ever see cops in there. Actually, that's not a proper diner then, surely. I just think Milwaukee cops, I don't know what they eat. I wanted to see some guy sitting there that like everyone was like, oh, like he was really friendly and he was like this like local friendly. But you knew that deep down he had a past. That was everyone that was in there this morning. No, though. but like, do you know what I mean? Like one, like, so everyone's like, oh, there's, you know, Hank, the, the, the friendly Ghost. Like local who, <laughs> the friendly local who like fixes all the kids' bike tires and like just helps everybody out. But then one day there'd be a robbery, and Hank and he like, kills everybody. He, he kills snaps everyone. everyone's neck yeah, yeah, yeah. really quickly. Yeah, and you're like, Hank, what the fuck? And he's like, I haven't done that since I was in the Korean War. And Special Forces unit got a jumped in parachute, exactly. and I had to go to Japan and I had to live in the forest, save my life, ate a bear. Exactly. Yeah, I don't know. We don't I know, have a lot of that or in or he'd, or he'd like the pl- and then like he would finish and he would just sit back down and he'd be like, "X over easy," or he'd be like, "More coffee, please." Yeah, exactly, like that. Yeah, we or don't have that here. Or he'd do a pun. That would have to be like Arizona or like you know so maybe like a southern state. Like a shitty diner off of like a free like a highway. Mm. It's not going to be like, you know, East Side Milwaukee. That's not going to be the clientele. Oh, I did try grits today. Yeah, it's you did. shit. You don't like it? I've wanted to try grits for years, and it tastes like okay. Well, glue. those were those were instant grits. Okay, so if you want actual real hominy grits, that's a different story. It's like similar, but the quality is much better kind of like when you have Folgers coffee and you're like this is garbage and then you have good specialty coffee and you're just like oh my god my life has changed same thing so like I will eat and enjoy instant grits because it's something I used to eat all the time you can add things to it it's really delicious I don't know it's just like a good thing that I like to eat mm. but it's kind of like if you want really good grits you know you have to go to the south I'll tell you the best thing that I found about American diners hmm is you can just order whatever the fuck you want and they're like like it's the UK, right? You go for like to a brunch spot or something, right. and you'll be like, Oh, and they'll have like four different kinds of avocado on toast. And you know four different you, kinds. Yeah, but it'll be like, Oh, this one's got, you know, salmon and eggs, and then this one has this, and this one has this. Sure. You can't go you have to sort of stick by the menu. Oh, you can't like, like you, customize. You can't customize it. Mm. You go into there and you're like, Oh, can I get like two fried eggs one pancake with some grits on the side a sausage and some pasta and yeah. they're like sure thing honey and yeah then you don't have be it. <laughs> you don't have to order a set meal you can literally be like just make it whatever the fuck can i have a want. side of grits can i have one slice of bacon can i get two eggs uh they have to be siblings and i want them cooked <laughs> separately one scrambled one over easy uh, can I get a pancake? But I want it baked instead of in a pan. Like you can do whatever you want because they want you to come in and eat their food, and they yeah. don't give a fuck. And the, 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 ser- the service is like next level. Yeah, and they make shit money, and they, no, they work don't. long hours. No, because tips they make great money. They make they make okay money. It's not you're not making. You like, don't like tips in the UK are like non-existent. Yeah, but they do. You know what they do here. What? If you work at a place that you primarily make tips at, they will pay you less because you're making up the rest of it in tips. So like when Jackie worked at like an Axe bar, she was making like $2 and 75 cents an hour because she was making tips and it was made up in tips. So people that work at diners aren't making a good, like I'm not saying they're making good money, but like they're making enough to like 
not die that day. That's but good. I guess what I'm saying is like the conditions for them are not like perfect. They're not like they're not like in their career, but they're putting like all of their effort into it and they're making it a, an experience for you that is pleasant. Mm. Well, when we go there tomorrow, I'm going to try and see if I can take some pictures. We're going again. Stuff. Yeah. We're going back to Mar Fisher's tomorrow and I'm going to try and take some pictures of some staff. As you should. Um, and I'm not going to sleep well tonight because I'm going to be up peeing constantly because of the big gulps. Yeah, you're going to have to do quite a few wee. No fucking way. That's got iced coffee on the side. People get iced coffee. That's Yeah, you can get... Yeah. Yeah, so that's the barcode for iced coffee. That's the Slurpee barcode. And this is the big gulp barcode, depending on what you get. Someone gets an iced coffee that size. Yeah, like truckers and stuff. Or people who are psychotic. Yeah, Starbucks girlies who are, you know, ran out of Starbucks cash on their card or something. That's what you can do. It's, I don't recommend it. That's a lot of caffeine. It's a lot of liquid, too. Yeah, if you were a driver, you'd just be peeing constantly. That's what the cup's for. You finish it, and then you pee in it. That's smart. It's not smart, because what if you slosh it on yourself on accident? Or what if it, you when forget was, and you take a big I, sip of I, it? I was going to say tell stories about when I was a postman, but I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm not a postman <laughs> Please anymore. don't. Uh, yeah. So so we need to do... So tomorrow we're going to do some more photography. Yep. Do some more photography tomorrow. We're going to do some large format of each other. Yeah, portraits because that's yep. what we wanted to do. Um, we're gonna go to Helen to Helen back, the vintage shop because yeah, yeah, yeah. my friend my friends over there are gonna be open for us there, which is nice. Yeah. Um, Becca, what did you want to do tomorrow? Becca's just along for the ride, apparently. Nah. Hey, you're succeeding. Um, uh, and then yeah and overachiever then, over there and then there'll be more there'll be more filming tomorrow so like yeah this is kind of just a, a ramble we we, we, we just wanted to have a in-person podcast because we're in person now for the first time and we haven't had a podcast in a while and this is like the best time to do it yeah so we're having a bit of a ramble yeah i know we keep talking about it as well about getting the podcast back on and we need to, we want to do it but we need to be realistic about it which is like once a fortnight or something like that. Because I'm thinking once a month. Say no. Yeah, maybe once a month. Because... Longer episode, maybe? Yeah, who knows? But I think the YouTube video that is going to follow should be... Um... Don't put don't don't put any pressure on it, because I have to edit and do all that. It's yeah, lot, but there's just... There's, 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 <laughs> It'll be good. It'll be fun. There's stuff on it. It's It'll funny. be fun. Yeah, because this is, this is historical. You this know? is like a big moment. This never is... have I had a best friend who lived in another country that I'd never met. Yeah. That then came just... This is me. like when Napoleon met Genghis Khan. It's nothing like that. Did they meet? Of course not. Two, two different fucking times. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. This is like when <laughs> this Napoleon. Is like, this is like when Napoleon met Joan of Arc. This is and like, and, and Bill and Ted. This is like when uh, Bert, Bert met Ernie. Harry, Prince Harry, met Meghan Merkel. Who's Meghan? Meghan Merkel. Are you Meghan? Oh yeah, because uh, oh, you're American. Yeah, yeah, I'm American, so I'm Harry. You're Harry, even though you're not. What well- are the royals Welsh? Who's Welsh? Why do I think someone's Welsh? Because of the Prince of Wales, and then Diana, Princess of Wales. Yeah, is she from Wales or she's just the Princess of Wales? She's the Princess of Wales. Because Welsh she's... people are that's is that like the Southern people of America? Okay, because someone said, "Who's the Southern people? Who would the be? What are the Welsh like the coolest?" They are the coolest. So um, if I go to America, if I go to the UK, I want to go to Wales. Behind, it's one step sorry, below the Scottish. You, thank you. Good save. Is that what we're saying? Good save. That's what I thought. Scotland, Ireland, Wales. Yeah, England goes last. Scotland, Ireland. Yeah, okay. The Irish are cool. Because Wales is not England. Wales is Wales. I don't know. I've never been there. No, this is America. Don't teach me shit. All they teach me is like, you know, uh, one plus one is two, maybe. And then they... Basically, bottom line is this. Here's the... Scots are the best. Fact. Yeah. After that, the Irish. Thank you, by the way, for Scotch tape. Thank you for that. You're welcome. Um... And Scotch Guard. Which is... uh, You know what that is? You know what that is because you guys invented it. No, it's, we, you, we, you we, spray it on stuff to keep it. We from invented wet. the TV, the phone. I don't think that's true at all. It's true. The Scots bell? did. West, uh, the Bell guy, Alexander Graham Bell. He was Scottish. Yeah, John Logie Bear, Scottish. Not John Yogi Bear. 
John Logie Baird. George Washington, American. Yeah, but the guy had wooden teeth. He actually had elephant. Uh, oh, no, he had horse. Horse and donkey teeth. And he had uh, wood teeth. And he also had the teeth of slaves on his bottom teeth. He had, he had all sorts of shit. You're like a dolly mixture mouth. It was fucked up. Do you have dolly mixtures here? I don't know what that is. Sweets. Oh. No, you guys have weird names for your sweets. We just have... Oh, sorry. Let me get some fucking Mike and Ikes and some Charleston taffy. (laughs) That's not what it's called. I don't know. What's it called? Charleston Chew. Oh, yeah. Charleston Chews. My Mike and Ikes and my Reese's peanut butter biscuit sniffers or whatever they're called. Reese's peanut butter cups? Those are... Everyone knows what those are. I don't know. Listen, you guys have stupid names for sweets as well, so I don't know what you're on about. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. yeah. It's all about perspective. Yeah, let's have a really big drink. What should we call it? Have a big gulp. Yeah, all right, nice one. I'll do it. <laughs> that was a marketing genius because everyone knows big gulp. Everyone knows it. It's become a brand. This is actually technically a super big gulp, which is fucked up. Big gulp wasn't big enough. So yeah, but I've seen bigger. them bigger. There is bigger ones in the Seven Elevens. Yeah, in like the Mall of America and in like you know highways and stuff. Anyway, we need to figure out what we're going to do for dinner tonight as well. Oh, we're going to go to cops. Is that where we're going for dinner? Well, I don't. What? Yeah, because it has food and then frozen custard for dessert. Okay. So, for those of you who are not from this area, Cops is a frozen custard, uh, like a burger joint, and they have really good burgers, and they have like grilled cheese, and they have fried. Are the burgers good rings. though? How are they good? Are they good? Yeah. Okay. You can get them crispy. Get them with onions on them. You can get them with whatever toppings you want. Uh, me and Jackie like to get patty melts, so we get a, a burger patty in a grilled cheese uh, with onions or bacon or something, and then we'll get fries or onion rings, and they're delicious. And then we'll get a frozen custard. We'll, shoot, we'll share a frozen custard. It's great. They also have milkshakes, which are good as well. Murica. Yeah. We can do something else. We don't have to do that. We can just eat something else and then go. What do you think, Becca? Do you want to eat something else and then go get frozen custard? God damn it. What kind of answer is that? She's saying this because she's on the podcast. Like we can't hear podcast you. On the podcast comes off. They like, can't, right, they, she, these mics aren't picking that up. But she comes off the podcast and it'll just be like, fuck you. I'm not doing any of that nonsense. I haven't heard her say fuck you once. To me. Since you've That's been That's our here. love language. No, I know, but I haven't heard her say fuck you. Fuck you. You prick. You oh, prat. Oh, my keys are uh, not in a sexual way, more of like a, oh, for God's sake, kind of like tone. Why would that be sexual? No, I'm saying like not an oh Mikey, like oh Mikey, but more like a, more like a, oh Mikey, oh Mikey, like oh Mikey for fuck, just oh for fuck's sake. Really? I've heard her call you Mikey, and Michael when I'm in trouble. I've heard her call you Michael just in normal conversation too. Mikey Poo hasn't come up yet, but I'm waiting. Not Mikey Poo. No, I couldn't Mikey Poo. What about really? Miguel? That was the problem. Does she call you Miguel ever in bed? Uh, yeah. Ew. Yeah. Don't. She calls me Juan Longsword. I thought I heard someone else was wearing it. It wasn't a bed. It was a pull-out sofa. And you better not have been... Do not sully. Is that why you took the sheets off? Because you sullied them? <laughs> You're not denying it. Disgusting. This is America, okay? We didn't, we didn't do no that. No hanky-panky in America. We didn't do that. Becca has allergies and a cold. So the only liquids that will be on there are snot. Um... Anyway, this is just Disgusting. digressing now. Um, <laughs> right. Yeah. Guys, um, Guys, on behalf of... The UK. On the land of the free... The United States of America. And the home oh, of the brave. I saluted a flag today as well. There's photographic evidence. Yeah. Mike, I'm so glad you're here. You're my best friend. I'm so glad I'm here too. You're my best friend. I love this. Apart from you, Becca. Becca, you're our you're our collective best friend. Klaus, you're my best friend. Oatmeal, you're kind of a demon, but I love you too. Uh, thank oh, you guys. I finished the big gulp. I can't believe you finished it so quickly. It's taken me three hours. I think we're gonna have to take him to the hospital and get him a diabetes test. Thank you guys for listening and for watching. If you're watching here on the on the YouTube, uh, if the cameras turned off or if things didn't go as good with the cameras, I'm so sorry. This is my first time doing this for a podcast. We'll at least have some footage. Um, we're not going to kiss. 
No. Hey, I wanted to touch so like people didn't think that this was like blue screen. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, yeah. Look at the size of his hands. Shut up. No, like legit. Look. Look at these meaty fuckers. <laughs> oh, like. Yeah, look. You like that? Look my hands that. sweaty because I of the microphone. I don't have small hands, right? I, Look at them. You, they've got big hot dog fingers. My girlfriend thought I was less than six feet tall, but Mike's six feet tall and I'm taller than him, so it's now confirmed I'm taller than six feet. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. I'm just kidding. I love you guys. Don't worry about it. We love you all. We love you. Thank um, you. Toodle pip. Goodbye. Toodle pip. Goodbye. Um, uh, America. And they say that a hero can save us. I'm not gonna stand you.